Yo, hello everyone! Do you need an easy way to gather information or create surveys? Google Forms is a versatile tool to, that allows you to create customizable forms with ease. In this video, we will guide you through the process of creating your own Google Form, including adding questions, choosing response, options, and analyzing the collected data. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is get your browser launched and then make sure that you are on a Gmail account. You can create it very easily through your Google. Now click on app section and then from here search for forms. So we can just go here and start searching for forms. As you can see, it will be in the end. Click on it. Now, this is the forms that we have. These are some templates that they will give you. And if you want to start from blank, you can click on here. And here we go. Now, let's start on making a form about something. So actually, I'm going to get ChatGPT to help me on this one. So I'm going to go to ChatGPT to give me some subject to do the forms on. So give me form questions about football. I want 10 questions. So here we go. And now after they give us the questions, give, uh, give us some options. So here we go. Now, ChatGPT actually gave us the questions with their options. So now what I'm going to do is copy this one and then make it in the entitled question. Make it here. You can either make it bold or not. And then you can choose from here if you would like it to be a multiple choices, check boxes, drop down, or whatever you'd like from here. For this one, I want it to be check boxes. And for now, you can click here, select one option. So A, Real Madrid, B, here, I'm going to choose Barcelona. And I am going, for example, for B here, I'm going to choose uh, Manchester City. So this is for now. And let me just, actually, let's keep this, change this here, C, and here, let's make it B. Here we go, and here, Manchester City. So this is the first question. You can even add images if you'd like or do whatever you'd like. Here you can import questions, add title and description, add image, video, add section and much more. So this is the first question. After you're done with it, you have to choose if you are going to make it required. So if people didn't answer it, their form will not be submitted. Click here on required to make it required. And then click on this three point if you'd like to add any description or something like that. And here you go. You have successfully created your question. Now you can simply click here to add another question. Here we are going to copy the next question, which is how long have you been a fan of football? I'm going to choose this one. And then here I'm not going to actually choose one of those. I'm going to actually cho choose here from multiple choices. I'm going to go to this date or time it is completely up to you so from here they are going to put the date and the time make it require and then let's go to the next question here I'm going to choose the third question which is do you play football by yourself it's gonna be yes or no question yes no and it has only one answer so we can just make it like that multiple choices or checkbox so let's do this and then click on required and then save it. So these are the three first questions that we have created. And this is how it looks like. If you went to them, you can edit them and do whatever you'd like. You can also save it by clicking on send, but we are not going to do this yet. Let's go to the fourth question. Here I'm going to go with who is your favorite football player? I'm going to copy this here, paste it. Uh, a, Lionel Messi. Here we go, B, Cristiano Ronaldo, 
and for C, yeah, let's go for Neymar, for example. And then you can also here choose linear scale or whatever you like, drop down list. You can make option one, option two, option three in here. So let's copy here these three names. Uh, just like so, I'm going to just remove this PC thing and then save it. So this is how it's going to be looking like. So it's going to be a drop down list and they will have to choose from it. So one of them is going to be the right answer. So now I think we've made around one, two, three, four. And yeah, I almost forgot. Here I'm going to add a title to it. So uh, football four. Football fans form a quick form to for for football fan, and now we can simply save it as it is. So we can click here to send, and now we can send it to people. So collect email addresses if not verified, respond input or something like that. You can send it. You can here choose to whom you like to send it and here you just copy the link. So let's copy the link and then let's enter it as a uh, cognito or something like that. So here we can switch the account, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, here we have to choose which is you, what what is your favorite football team. I'm going to choose for example Barcelona. Here, how long have you been a fan of football? Um, I'm going to choose since for example uh, uh, 20 six around january for example here do you play football yourself i forgot to actually make here yes but anyway in the list, which is you know messi christian rondo name junior you choose your messi option one and then submit after i have submitted the form if i went here to responses you will notice that you had a notification has one so let's go to it here you will find each answer and its own graphs. So here, for example, one. So if the Barcelona has more fans than the others. Here, for how long have you been a fan of football? Here, since January of 26, 200, 2006, which is 19 years. Here, do you play football by yourself? Here, the blue one, which is yes. Here, who is your favorite football player? Here, we have chosen Lionel Messi. And for the last one, which was a random one, it is option one. So this is how it actually works. You can also add link to sheet to make it helpful as a database that you can get data from it and use it as your base of your Google Sheets, which is your Excel on Google. That I have made a previous video about it. Make sure to check it out after you finish with this video. So yeah guys, that was it for today's tutorial. I hope I showed you everything from the basics to how to send and make it public to everyone. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.